Lacer's benefits include a survivor benefit for an eligible spouse or domestic partner in the form of a lifetime monthly continuance payment received after the member passes away. A portion of the retirement contributions that you pay as an active employee into your Lacer's retirement account go towards funding this benefit. However, if you retire as a single member and no one is eligible to receive the monthly continuance benefit after your passing, a decision must be made about the money that would have gone to fund that future survivor benefit. You must make a decision at the time of retirement about what you would like to happen to those funds. Before we talk about the options, let's first identify where you can find the amount of funds you have in survivor contributions. You can view your current total for survivor contributions to date by logging into your MyLacers account. The account summary page displays all your contributions and identifies the current amount of survivor contributions on account. Your Lasers Retirement Benefit Estimate will also show you the amount of survivor contributions you're projected to have at the time of retirement. On page 2, under the Retirement Allowance Options and Amounts section, the line labeled Survivor Contributions Refund Amount will show you the amount that you have. This is the money that you'll be making a decision about. On your decision sheet in the Your Retirement Payment section, in the single member column, write the survivor contribution amount in the line provided so that you can have it handy when you're selecting an option. You will have two options for these funds. The first option is to apply those funds to your monthly payment to slightly increase your retirement allowance. Your retirement benefit estimate details the increase in your retirement payment by applying your survivor contributions. To see the amount, refer to page 2 of your estimate in the Retirement Allowance Options and Amounts section and look for the line that reads, With Survivor Contributions Applied. The second option is to take a refund of your survivor contributions. You can take a refund where taxes will automatically be withheld, or you can refund them as a rollover into another qualified retirement account. Think about which option you would prefer, and on your decision sheet in the single member box, check the box for the selection you will likely make. This will be your reminder for what you selected when you reach that question in the retirement process. Remember that your decision sheet is for your reference only and is not an official designation.